Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a redstone contraption I came up with using the new honey block. Here's how it looks like. The bolt opens, the two armor stands pop right out of it, and they replace these two blocks right here. They just and sit on top of them. So, this takes advantage of the new honey block, which may seem the same as the slime block, but it has some different properties. When you move the slime block, the entities sitting on top of it won't stick to it. Whereas with the honey block, as you can see, the entities stick to it. So here's how the wiring looks like. This is the smaller version. This is the one arm version. Is the wiring is just here to the right. And here's the two armor version. This is the one you just saw in the beginning. Okay, so before showing you how to build it, I'm going to show you two other redstone contraptions I came up with using honey blocks and armor stands. Okay, so here's the first one. This one is very similar to the one I just showed you. But instead of having two blocks right here, you have two armor stands that go down and two new armor stands pop right out of the wall. And when these come up, the lights will switch on. Okay, and here's the second one. This one will allow you to have two sets of four armors, which you can toggle by pressing this button right here. Pretty cool. Okay, so now on to the tutorial. These are the materials we're going to need to build this contraption. And before you start, you want to know that the building is going to start five blocks beneath where you put your crafting benches or whatever plot you want to place here. First thing you want to do is build this and then we will start building up from here. The first thing you want to do is place four pistons here with two repeaters set at one tick, two observers on top of them facing downwards using these two repeaters and two blocks on top of them. Then what you want to do is put some rest on dust over here, a comparator, a repeater, a set of four ticks, rest on dust all over here, a repeater set to four ticks and a repeater set to one tick. Then a redstone torch over here Redstone dust, a repeater set to 4 ticks, a comparator, redstone dust, and more redstone dust. Next, we're going to place a block right here with a redstone torch, some redstone dust, and another one right here with a redstone torch, some redstone dust. Now we're going to go over here, place two repeaters, one set at four ticks and one set at three. We're going to continue building over here. We're gonna place red sun dust like that. Now we're gonna place red sun dust right here. A repeater set to four ticks and a repeater set to two ticks. Now we're going to place two pistons right here one and two and a honey block and another one right here okay now we're going to place a redstone block here a sticky piston attached to it with a repeater here and another piston facing upwards with a block on top now we're going to place another repeater here, a block, another repeater, and some reds and dust. This right here is going to be our input. Then we're going to place a block here, some reds and dust, another block with reds and dust, 
now we're going to place two repeaters set up four ticks and redstone dust a repeater set to three ticks a block redstone perch and here we're going to place two redstone dust another repeater set to three ticks a block and a redstone torch and now we're going to place two sticky pistons here and two sticky pistons here okay so now we're going to place the blocks to make everything look a little bit better first we're going to place the blocks that would be our wall then the floor This would be our ground level. Then we're going to place trapdoors over here to hide this. You could also place uh, item frames with maps or uh, a painting if you wanted to. Then you want to place something like a furnace. It has to be a block that cannot be moved by pistons or sticky blocks such as the honey block or the slime block and we're going to test it out, we're going to put a button right here we're going to press it as you can see it works now what you want to do is place a trapdoor here another one here and these two you want to open them put the armor stands and then close them so that they stay right there and that should do it it should be working so I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any suggestions or any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section and I hope to see you in the next one